You may have seen recently that we have extended our Betty dress sewing pattern to be a complete collection with four total bodice looks that completely change the look of the Betty dress depending on your style and what you are feeling for that particular day. So today I'm going to share and walk through how to finish the Betty dress. So this is a continuation of each of those patterns and the tutorials. You can find each tutorial linked below with the first half of the bodice directions and this is going to pick up with the sleeves and the tiers and the finishing pieces to finish off the Betty dress. I'm excited to see what you make so let's get started. Let's work on the sleeves and adding this to the Betty wrap, the Betty original, and the Betty square dress. You can skip this part if you are making the halter version. Unpin your pattern pieces and make sure that you marked the notches. Find the right side middle of the sleeve and line it up to where the shoulder seam is on the bodice piece. Right sides together, pin this in place, and then find the corners of the sleeve and match it to the corners of the bodice piece sleeve. Then using as many pins as necessary, pin along the curve of the arm sleeve. You wanna make sure that you're using enough pins to make sure that the sleeve is fitting into the armhole. This could take some practice. The more time you spend on the sleeve, the better it will look. Now take your sleeve to the sewing machine and starting at the front bodice corner, sew half an inch along the entire sleeve curve, attaching it to the bodice. Go slow here and make sure that you're just keeping the sleeve aligned as you're sewing because it can easily fall out of place and you'll end up with a little extra on the ends if you're not careful. Next, we're going to focus on the tiers. And so you can grab all of your tiers, the front, the back, the top tier and the bottom tier for the Betty dress and you're going to gather the fabric. We have an in-depth tutorial on gathering that you can see below but essentially you're going to lengthen your stitch length and sew across the top of your tiers with two lines and you're going to hold the bobbin thread in your left hand and pull the fabric gently with your right hand to gather this fabric. There's a lot of fabric, so it can take a little time to even out these gathers, and the more time you spend on it, the better it's going to look. Find the center notch of the gathered piece and line it up with the center notch of the bodice piece for the top front of your body dress. Pin these pieces right sides together and change your stitch length back to its original length for me, that's 2.5, and sew across the tier and the bodice piece, sewing them together. You're going to repeat this process for the rest of the tiers. So you're going to do this for the back top tier and attach it to the back bodice piece, and then you're going to add the bottom tiers to the front and the back as well. You're going to sew all of these at half an inch seam allowance. Now let's add the pockets. Measure from the top tier side seam four inches down the side of the tier. So take one pocket bag and right sides together, pin to the side seam of the tier. Now you're going to sew down the side seam on the pocket quarter of an inch, and then you're going to open up the pocket laying flat and sew it once more at a quarter of an inch. This is going to give it a clean look. Continue this process for the remaining pocket bags on the front and the back on both sides of the dress. Now turn your entire dress wrong side out and with the right sides together, match up the wrists, the sleeves, armpits, the side seams, going around the pockets and down to the hem of the dress. You want to match everything up, all of the seams and notches, if there are any, 
and you will sew this at half an inch seam allowance. Repeat this for the other side of the dress. Next, let's hem the dress. You're going to do this by taking the bottom of the dress and folding it to the wrong side, quarter of an inch. Iron all the way around the hem. Fold again half an inch and iron all the way around. Now you're going to stitch along this fold around the entire dress and iron it to give it a crisp look. Now you're going to do the same thing for the sleeves and this is where you're going to add the elastic. So grab your sleeves and at the wrist of the sleeve, fold quarter of an inch towards the wrong side and iron, and then fold once more at half an inch and iron again. You're going to sew around this, leaving a two inch opening for elastic. To insert the elastic, you'll just add a safety pin to the end of the elastic and pin this to the dress so you don't lose your place. Add another safety pin and feed the elastic through the channel that you just made on the sleeve. Next, you will connect the elastic together and sew with a zigzag stitch. Close the channel with a straight stitch and trim off all of your threads because your dress is complete. We're so excited to see what you make with these patterns. So tag us on Instagram and follow this next video if you need some more tips on gathering. <laughs>